how did it feel to just be out there on Saturday, you know, two field goals, and just be back out there and play? It felt it felt great. I mean, I love game day. I absolutely love game day. Um, it was a good team win all round. To get two kicks at the end of the game was awesome. First one from 50. You you know don't want it any other way than that. Um, and then to obviously bang that 50 yarder for the first kick of the year. That's that always feels good. What did you uh, notice about the guys surrounding you? you know, uh, tremendous. I mean. Um, I'm excited about our coverage team, uh, especially on the kickoff. I think it's going to be a great season. Coach Bra has a great plan for us, um, and our guys are hungry. Like you know, a couple of those we just wanted to hang up to uh, to force a return. And uh, first one they fair cut, the second one they brought out, um, which was much later in the game. But uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep doing stuff like that, and and uh, let our guys go make plays. You know, the touchback line moved out to the 25 a few years ago, but as a kicker who can do it, do you? Think Strategically, it just makes sense. Just keep as far as you can. Take the touchback every time. Just eliminate possibility of a return. Sure, I think a lot of it's situational, um, but we're more than capable of tackling, tackling guys inside the 20, inside the 15, um, which is in the goal. You know, like I've always said, Coach Bernowski's not not satisfied with just getting the ball in 25 for the for the opponent offense. So, um, you know, if we can get him inside the 20, that's that's really our goal. Talk to you, Elvis. I think I can't about like, how you measure. Yeah, sure. I mean, we anticipated some rain. Um, that's part of our routine. Uh, routine every week, uh, we get wet ball drills. Um, so Nico did a great job with that. Nico Crawford, the long snapper, he did a great job with that. Uh, we didn't have to hit any balls while it did rain, but the, you know the field was still a little wet. The grass was a little wet. Um, but no, we prepare for everything. So whether it's you know, wind or, or rain, we have that preparation throughout every week just in case, because you never know. Never. Never. Um, I know my kicks will come. Uh, when my name's called, I'll do my job. Um, and I like to be aggressive. I'm all about it. You know, I fit that aggressive play style, too. So um, it worked out in our favor. And, and uh, if you wanted to do it again, you know, go ahead. When was the last thing he came up to you in, in a game and said, hey, can you make it from here? Like, does he even ask you that, or has he ever asked you that? Um, no, I don't think a situation's ever come up uh, where they've asked that question. Pre-game, they'll get a line for me. Um, and it's usually different depending on direction, depending on wind and all that, you know, weather, like you said. Um, but usually it's, it's 60. And then, you know, give or take, we've got the wind at our back. It could be 62, 63. But, um, you know, we're pretty much good. And, you know, once we cross the 50-yard line, you know, let me know. 60 was that your line last year. Is that right? I don't think I'm kicking the ball any bigger than last year. Um, I think, you know, even last year, um, we were at Louisville. It was, I think, pregame hit 65, you know? So it really just depends on, on, on what direction the wind's going and then just putting the ball up in the air and letting it fly a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, if we get a situation like that this year, it'll, like I said, it, it'll depend on wind and all that stuff. But uh, say there's no wind, no weather, it's, it's 60 comfortable. You know, if I'm feeling really good, maybe 62, 63. But, um, you know, those kicks are so, so rare. You just really focus on, on the ones that are 50 in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of family friends. Um, I got a lot of buddies um, that go to the University of Cincinnati. So uh, and especially in my senior year to go to a game that close to home is, uh, is very special to me. So I'm excited to see all the familiar faces and, and uh, have a good game for them. Have you recruited by Cincinnati at all? Yeah, I did a lot of uh, talking with them back in the day. It was Luke Fickle, and the uh, uh, coordinator was Brian Mason. Um, and obviously, they're elsewhere nowadays. But uh, really, the guy who got me into kicking um, was the kicker there. His name was Cole Smith back in, gosh, I want to say like 2017 to 2020. He was the kicker there. I went to a camp in 2017, and uh, he DM me, and he's like, hey, if you ever want to train, let me know. You know, we think you're pretty good. And, and uh, ever since then, you know, he was uh, my first really mentor and trainer in kicking. And he introduced, introduced me to my coach, Adam Tanowski, who's up in Buffalo. Um, and he'll be at the game, too, this guy, Cole Smith. So I'm excited to see him. He's working in Cincinnati nowadays because uh, his career was, he, he did his five years. Um, but no, it's, there's a lot of good memories there, a lot of good memories. What's that? Did he give you a hard time? No, because they, I mean, scholarships work differently with uh, specialists. Um, really, you know, every four years is when you're going to scholarship the next guy up. Um, coaches are different or situations are different, but usually that's how it goes. 
Um, and at the time, they had a guy, and if I came in, I would be sitting for, you know, maybe two or three years, you know, just depending on the situation there. Um, so the offer was only ever a walk-on spot. But uh, um, I knew the whole specialist unit. Uh, I could name them out, but I, I won't do that. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of good memories from, from Cincinnati. Did you like Yes, sir. Yeah, back in, in 20. Can you say that again for me? For Upo's first game as your long snapper, would you was there anything good on that? Yeah, I mean, Upa did a great job. He, he handled the uh, Upa handled the long snaps, so that was for punt. And then Nico Crawford did all the short snaps, and, and Nico did a tremendous job. We had a lot of a lot of reps between uh, extra points and field goals. I think nine total reps, um, and all of them were meant. They were all perfect, and uh, that helps me with my job. I'd be curious. You know, I noticed some kickers line up at seven yards, some line up at eight. Is that a preference on the part of the kicker, or preference? So are you saying like in regard to how far back the holder is from the spot? They line up to 27 or 28. Yeah, so yeah, that's your coach's preference. Um, we're eight yards, but to be honest, I mean, I I think we're eight yards um, just because I go where the holder goes. Uh, I try not to think about that stuff at all. But uh, yeah, it just usually depends on, on this, the, the special teams coordinator. Oh, I also wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously your focus on right here this week and, and all these things with Obviously, there's there's a future, and I'm sure you've you know envisioned a professional career for yourself. Have you looked at this kickoff rule in the NFL? Have yeah, you, uh, it's it's very unique. Um, like you just said, I really do take it all one day at a time. If the opportunity presents itself going down, um, then great. But uh, it's a unique rule. I, I'm excited to see what they do with it because it's 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 new this season. So um, there's going to be a lot of new ideas, and then it, it'll continue to evolve too. Um, as the years go by, but I think we're going to see a lot of creativity this season, and um, you might even see position guys kicking off. I mean, who knows at this point, you know, just to get another guy down the field who can make a tackle. Um, but no, it'll be very interesting. It'll be fun to watch.